Hello, I'm Carlos. In this video, I will showcase the pastel brushes. This brush category is different from the others. Instead of divided in groups by shapes, I sorted them by different pastel tools. The groups are soft pastel, hard pastel, oil pastel, pan pastel, pastel pencil, scrape, dabs and textures, and nature. The soft pastels are the most used pastel tools. They are soft, apply a lot pigment on paper and they are more painterly than hard pastel. The two first brushes are standard flat brushes. The sided brush is like you are applying more force in one of the sides of the pastel stick. The round brushes emulate the round pastel sticks. The eroded brushes are the more interesting ones. They replicate eroded sticks, or if you are painting over an uneven surface. I added lots of eroded variants. They are all pretty good. The hard pastels are usually used to paint big areas, then using a blender tool. This is because they are cheaper than soft pastels, but at the same time don't apply so much pigment. The hard pastel sticks are strongly affected by paper texture. This is the effect I use for this group of brushes. I created different hard versions, but all serve for the same purpose. This is to add hard texture to your artwork. Change the paper or the structure to apply a different texture. The oil pastels are very different from usual pastel sticks. They are like soft pastel, but at the same time like wax. They smudge a lot based on the paper or the surface you are painting over. I created different effects, similar to the traditional oil pastel. These brushes are very painterly as they are. But they are even better if you use them in paint and mix mode. The pan pastel is the same as soft pastel. But instead of being presented in sticks, it's distributed in fine dust. It's almost like pure pigment. So, you need tools to apply pan pastel. This is what I did. I simulated you are applying fine dust with different tools. The universal main tool to paint is your finger. So this is the first tool I created for pan pastel. You can copy the fingerprint brush to the blend tool. This way you will always have a nice finger blender just by pressing the shortcut in. The other tools are bristles. I provided five variants. The spatulas are very good and very expressive.
the knives are very flat tools. I created four variants. The pastel pencils are the same as usual pastel, but presented as pencils. Use them to add details. I created two soft and two hard pencils. The scraper tools used, as you can imagine, to scrape your painting. Usually you must use them in eraser mode by pressing the shortcut 5. But in reality, I put here some bristle and rake brushes that can fit in other pastel groups. They are some bristle brushes and the rakes. In this case, as being pastel brushes, they are more affected by paper surface than oil or watercolor versions. I also included the pretty good rake random. The dabs and textures group has some differences from oil and watercolor. I put here the brushes which cannot be categorized in other groups. I put here the splat builder in one of the splatters. The abstract brush is good to create random shapes. I put here the impasto brush from oils. You can use it as a texturizing brush. To change the texture, open the brush creator. Go to textures tab and select background texture one. If you click over the texture thumbnail, you will be able to change the texture. The organic brushes have undetermined texture each one. The tree brushes are created to paint foliage on the trees. But they are also good for any texturing purpose. The particle brushes create random particle effects. In this case, I only included two variants. The dirt brush has this name because it resembles dirt. Here I didn't include the rocks brush, because don't look so well being used as pastel brush. The other rock brushes add different rock shapes. The sponge is a stamping brush. Not like if you're using sponges to drag paint around the canvas. The last four brushes are reused ones from my previous watercolor brush pack. I like them so much and are very useful, so I decided to include them. The nature brushes will be showcased on a different video. I hope you like the brushes.